I always heard it coming back. Yeah. Everyone said like, oh, I, I regret, I didn't do this. I, didn't. Yeah. I have no regrets. I truly don't because yeah. I went all in from the jump on everything that I yeah. did. Um, and that would be like my advice to, to young players is, yeah. is do, especially with you know, NIL and everyone's allowing everybody to be creative now. Just do what you want to do, man, because yeah. it's it's too short of a life just to to live by the social norms. Yeah. You know, if you want to do something, you know, in, in theater, go do something in theater. If you want to do yeah. something in band, do something in band. If you want to do sports, do sports. If you want to start a what, business, start a business. If you want to start a business, <laughs> yeah. then start a business yeah. or join up with Limitless NIL. Or just join it. Yeah. <laughs> the number one, you know, tight end in the country. Adam Brenneman, tight end, Cedar Cliff. What's up, guys? Welcome to Brenneman Shows Up. I'm Adam Brenneman. We're here in State College, Pennsylvania, my old stomping grounds, Penn State's campus. Going to talk to Penn State star quarterback, Sean Clifford. He's been in the headlines this week for a lot of reasons, mainly because he just started his own NIL company, going to help market players. We're going to talk to him about that and a lot more on this interview. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go talk to him right now. Yeah, no, it's a nice setup. Liam set it up for us. Shout yeah, out Liam shout Clifford, out Liam your brother, Clifford. for setting this whole thing up. Yeah. So. You, uh, you shot me a DM the other day about your NIL company. Yeah. So, and my first thought was, uh, dude, I need to get Sean on the podcast, man. It's not a bad <laughs> deal. I'm, glad, I'm glad you did that. Yeah. And then it was kind of funny because you're so big time now that you, you sent me to somebody else to schedule, no, 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 to no, no, schedule no, no. the relax, podcast. Relax, relax, <laughs> relax, relax. See, that's not what we're going to do. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no it, he's been doing a great job. No, on, that, so. that, that's how you know that you got th like, things rolling. You kind of got yeah. scheduling. And, like, yeah, we got a good team. Yeah. We got a good team no, for sure. So you're in the middle of spring ball right now. So how's, yeah. how's spring ball going? Great. I yeah. mean, just the, the experience of having an offense coordinator for two years in a row. Yeah. I mean, I just haven't been able to do that here yeah. at Penn State yet. Um, and now just being able to, to really, you know, dive into the playbook, yeah. master the playbook, instead of, instead of learning the terminology, learning the new stuff, it's all about mastery, which yeah. is, you know, what I've been missing for a few years now. Yeah. And it's really nice to just really dive into the tape from the year before, knowing yeah. those plays are going to be coming back, that terminology, the same coach. So it's been a great. It, it really is crazy. I, and I was telling you, I, I was doing videos early, earlier today, and I did a one about this with you is, you haven't had a coordinator for two years in a row. No, never. Like you, every single spring ball, you were learning a new offense. Yeah. So is it like, is it, it's gotta be uncharted territory now. Like you actually are like hearing the same play yeah. two, two seasons in a, a row. hundred <laughs> percent. And it's nice because, you know, the coaches are, are putting a lot of responsibility on my yeah. hands. You know, I've asked for it and, and they've, they've been all for it. Yeah. And, and, you know, Coach Franklin, Coach Yersich, um have just been fantastic. You know, I've been meeting with them 24-7, you know, especially Coach Yersich, yeah. um, just getting in his ear, making sure that, you know, I'm doing my part so that way the offense can, can you know, do what we need to yeah. do this year, um, especially in a second year, you know, OC. It needs to look different, and yeah. it will look different, so that's why, yeah. you know, we're just excited. What's Coach Yersich like? You like him? Fiery. Yeah. Fiery dude. Um, but, yeah. He doesn't take any shit, does no, he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, like, absolutely, yeah. absolutely none. Like, from the, the minute that we, we get in the meeting, you know, we, now we still have fun, don't get me yeah. wrong, but, you know, Coach Ursich is just one of those dudes who, he, he'll get on you, yeah. um, which I love, honestly, just because, you know, I'm a passionate guy myself, yeah. so, um, you know, I love when that, that energy's matched. Yeah. Um, but no, every, every single day, there's, <laughs> yeah. the, we, we, we make the most of our yeah. time. He seems That's intense. for sure. He That's seems for intense. sure. Yeah, 100%. He ever, go, he ever yell at you? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, What's you the worst thing know. you said? Yeah. <sighs> Things I would never say on this camera. I love it. I love <laughs> never. It. I love it. No, that's always like the coordinator QB coach yeah. relationship yeah, with, no, the, he's with great. the QB. Yeah. He really is great, though. What, uh, what, what's something like now that you're going into your sixth year? Like, what do you really, like, what is there to fine tune in your game? Like, what are you trying to work on going into this last year? I think that being able to take the next step in the second year, because, yeah. like, Although I'm so, like, I mean, I'm the oldest guy in college football, yeah. probably. I mean, I'm just getting all spade to spade. No, I'll <laughs> say it. I, I, I probably am. Yeah. But, you know, I haven't had that second year in the same offense. Yeah. Um, and I'm just so excited to be able to do it this yeah. year. Just because, you know, Coach Yersich's system is so good. Yeah. I, know the, I know the plans. We've been through, you know, the Big Ten together now. Yeah. We know the, you know, what we're getting into. Um, 
and just now allowing me to, to, to play more freely. It's been, you know, a great, yeah. it's been a great spring yeah. so far. I love it. I'm excited to see it in year yeah. two in the, in the same offense. For sure. Finally. Finally. <laughs> what, uh, I want to talk about just kind of like your life and let people get to know you and yeah. In a way they haven't seen before, like a dude from Ohio, like on the big stage at Penn State. Like, just talk to me through, like, talk about me, or talk about your high school career a little bit, too. Yeah. Like, just, just growing up in, you know, St. Xavier, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. So, so big my, bro high school. my brother and I both went to St. X. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I remember my freshman year, I was just trying to get on the varsity team, whatever it may be. You yeah. know, I just, want, I just wanted to get a shot. You were playing just, JV? just to be there. So, I, yeah, I got yeah. moved up to JV. Um, which was which, which was big for St. X because yeah. St. X, I remember how, how many how many were in our high school, like on the team. I think it was, I think it was 120 a on the freshman yeah. on the freshman team. Yeah. So it was, I mean, yeah. intense. Yeah. So we got moved. It was my buddy and I, Matt Bachhorst, who now is at Beacon Point, who my company works with. Oh, really? He's the okay. he's the middleman between everything. It all right? comes it's all back together. Yeah. No, because that's part of our pitch. Is yeah. you know he had my blind side in high school. And now he's got my client's That's blind sweet. side. That's sweet. Now, That's so which is cool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's that. a good yeah, little pitch, yeah. right? Yeah, you're just um, plugging Beacon Point I'm already. Plugging, <laughs> hey, shout out Beacon Point. Yeah, I love it. Um, but yeah, no, so, so Matt and I got moved up to JV uh, with also another buddy of ours, Jeff Hopkins, uh -huh. um, who, who works for the Cincinnati Bengals now. Um, really great dude. Yeah. Um, so, well so we all got moved up together and you know, we battled through the JV year, um, you know, played and, and, but I remember it was the, it was going into like the first week mm -hmm. and the varsity, they, they didn't have a, like a, a long snapper. And so, Stop it. oh, just wait. <laughs> so Steve Speck co comes down and he's like asking the, the head coaches of the, the JV team, uh -huh. Hey, we need a long snapper. Like who's your long snapper? And they're like, we haven't even, it's the JV team. We haven't decided <laughs> what, like what we're going to do. Um, so I was like, I, I, I lean over, it, it was, his name's Dan Haverkamp. I was like, Coach Haverkamp, like, I could, I could probably snap. Like, I mean, yeah. it's just throwing under your legs. And he's like, dude, you're not snapping. What the <laughs> hell are you talking about, right? Uh. So, <laughs> so the next day, without asking, I just went up to varsity. And I just got out there early, like, <laughs> put my pads on quick, went out there, started snapping. Uh. Turned out pretty to be pretty good. Got the starting job there, won the, the second string job. <laughs> That year, like throughout the year, got uh -huh. got to be the backup. Ended up playing a game or two on varsity my freshman yeah. year, and then won the job my sophomore year. That's so that amazing. was like kind of how it happened. <laughs> that's it, amazing. All, and that's why that's a long I tell our long snappers all the time, I got mad respect yeah. for everybody because that was how it's I, not I easy, made right? it here. That, yeah. I mean, it all started with special teams, so yeah. it, it is cool. Um, what, what was the point that during that high school career uh, that you realized like I'm going to play Division One football? It obviously wasn't yeah. when, you were, when you were long snapping. <laughs> no, it wasn't when I was long snapping. No, I was also like a buck 65, yeah. and I had no idea, you know, yeah. what I was going to do. But I would say sophomore year, we were playing Cathedral at the Colts Stadium. Mm -hmm. In uh, What's the stadium called? I forget what it's is called. Is it a lot? A the, it's it's the, the big dome. Yeah. It was Lucas Oil. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were playing them there. It was a big game, national game. We, you know, mm -hmm. it was getting hyped up and everything. It's like week three. And we won, and I kind of balled out, and I was like, I, got right, I could do this. Yeah. I could definitely Did you this. start getting calls right after that yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. So I, I actually, I got offered, my first offer was, was I want to say, it was Akron. It was yeah. at Akron. It was and you after probably thought my, that was like the coolest shit ever. Oh, so cool. I was <laughs> yeah. like stoked. Akron, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I, I was, so it was after my freshman year, mm -hmm. and I hadn't played a, a lick of varsity, like true yeah. varsity. So... And they offered me at the camp, and I was like, "Holy, like, holy yeah. shit! Like, this is it! This like, is I got a chance here." <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, moving through the year, uh, went to a couple more camps, and then sophomore year happened, and then I blew up. And yeah. then after that, yeah. um, it only took one year of recruiting because I, I wasn't a guy who was flashy and wanted to mm -hmm. to do all that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, especially yeah. I'm promoting all that Nowadays, with NIL yeah. now. Yeah. Like, you do you. Yeah. But I just wasn't that guy um, back in the day, and and I just wanted to pick a school and. You know, when I came up here, it felt right. I came up back up here a couple more times, and I was like, this is home. Yeah. You know, I trust the coaching staff already. You know, they're in it for the right reasons. I love the core values, everything about it. Yeah. And so I, I picked it, and it's so, been So how many great. visits, like, what other schools were you visiting? Uh, mostly Big Ten. Yeah. Yeah. It's Ohio a State. little bit of SEC. Yeah, the, like the Ohio State's of the world, yeah. Indiana's, uh, Michigan State, Michigan, 
Um, you know, just kind of yeah. bouncing around the Big Ten because I always thought I'd play in the Big Ten. Yeah, that's that was the one thing. As an Ohio kid, that's yeah. A, <laughs> I mean, Cincinnati yeah. kid. I was like, yeah, it's either gonna be you know, like a UC, mm-hmm. like right in the home, yeah, or go somewhere and play in the Big Ten and and Penn State. When I found well, Penn State, you know, there's actually uh, I, I should send you the, some the the old picture that mom's got. Of, what is of, it? It's it's me in front of the the the. What library is that with the with the paws in front of it, right right over, right near Forum, yeah. The paternal library. Yeah, yeah, with the with the paws, yeah. and it's just me standing there, and we right took there. a picture before <laughs> and after, like now. I love it. Yeah. It's you pretty. It's, knew. Oh yeah. I mean, I was. I think I was in like sixth grade when yeah. I when I did that. What, um, what when was, I was the there, uh, What was the official visit like to Penn State? It was so much fun because I was committed <laughs> to. I was, was committed. Your, who's your host? Oh my my host. Ah. Uh, it was it was Danny. It was Danny Dalton. Oh, got it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. fellow tight yeah, end. Yeah, 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 fellow Penn State tight yeah. end. Um, you know, I won't get into the details, but it was fun. <laughs> it was and fun. they sold me again. Yeah. But it was yeah. you know it was great. I um, love it. Yeah, and and you know Danny, shout out Danny Dalton. Yeah. Great dude. Was yeah. the when was the moment you committed to Coach Franklin? What was that like? It was so cool. Were you um, here or did you do it on the phone or? I was I was actually back at home. Okay. So so yeah. I had came up for a quick visit. And then it was my it was the day before my birthday, so okay. my birthday was July is, is July 14th, and I remember it because it was July 13th, and I told my parents like a couple of days before I'm like I, I don't want to go anywhere else, like, yeah. this is a spot, and they're like you want to like how do, what do you want to do how do you want to do it, I'm like I don't want to do anything flash yet I just want to you know post something but I do I want to do it before my birthday so I always remember yeah, yeah. so then I did it before my birthday and and. That's cool. You know, ever since. What so. what coach said? Was he freaking out? Oh, he's hyped. Yeah, and you know how he is. <laughs> yeah, he gets all fired he, he's, up. Yeah. He's hyped for any, any anybody who's, you know, if you have an offer to Penn State, he want, he want he's not one of those yeah. coaches who are just throwing all out and offers just, yeah. you know, willy-nilly. He's he's the type, if you get an offer from Penn State and then you commit, he's going to be juiced yeah. up because he truly believes in you, and that's, you know, the co- type of coach that he is. Yeah, so. he's such a good, you know, just speaking, mentioning him, like he's such a good dude and, yeah. Such a good recruiter, and he's been he's been so helpful to me throughout my whole career. But mm-hmm. what's he kind of meant to your career and your decision to come back for your sixth year? Yeah, I mean he's been everything like throughout yeah. my whole career. He's always had my back, always been you know in my corner. Um, he always know, has defended you to the media yeah, too. Yeah, all, all, always, yeah. and because you know he's he's a hard worker just yeah. like myself, um, and it goes past football too. I mean he's great to my family. I mean my brother is literally yeah. on, the on the team, team. like. <laughs> Yeah. We're all we're all like. I think connected. he still would be on the team even if you weren't here. He's pretty darn good. Yeah, no, he's no, he was making it regardless <laughs> yeah. of me or not. But a hundred percent, like yeah. it's 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 really is a family atmosphere here at Penn State. Um, and with Franklin and Coach Franklin, yeah. and his family, you know, shout you know Fumi, Shola, all Addy, them. all yeah. of them. They're just so fantastic, great people. Um, you know, relationship for a lifetime. Yeah. Take me through the decision to come back for your sixth year. Or was it really even a, like were you really debating leaving? Yeah, or what? I was. I yeah. was. Um, you know, it was it was the week before Michigan State because I was I wasn't really focusing on it at all. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But we were just talking yeah. about it. Like some well, people are really going sure to be walking at. back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Like just it's gonna tell you right organic, now, man. people will be walking <laughs> in the background. Um, but no, it it was a it was a decision for sure. Uh. Um, yeah, I mean, you have to make that decision yeah. when you're six years in college. True, like, yeah. You know, it's not – I'm blessed to be in a situation. Do not get me wrong. Yeah. Like, don't don't misquote me here. <laughs> but six years in college football, so that's time. a long time a for long sure. Time. So it had you're to be You're 23. Made, Will you be 24 for the season? 24, yeah. Oh, my God. Old man. <laughs> Old as heck. Old man, yeah. But I'm excited. Right. Um but no, it was it was a, it was a it was a good conversation. A lot of talks with my family, with my brother. Yeah. Um, and, I, and you know, I, I know I made the right decision because yeah. everything, everything's falling into place from from the number one on the field to then like the relationships off the field. You know, having the time of my life with my brother. Yeah. Um. And and that's and, such a know, cool thing. Too, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And and my whole team. And then on top of that, um, now opening Limitless. It's yeah. just everything about it. Yeah. I just feel like I'm I'm in the right spot. It like, seems like it too. If does. you if you wouldn't have came back, you'd probably always think like, yeah, what, what, what could I've done that exactly. season? Exactly. Yeah. And I would never I'd never wanted that to be. Yeah. That was that was the that was really the overarching thing because you know I had I had talked to 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 the agents I was talking to the scouts that I heard from. Yeah. Um, and 
it wasn't like I, I didn't think I could make it in the league. It was mm-hmm. it was more so like I just didn't feel right leaving. Yeah. So and and I and I knew that you know in 30 years when I'm looking back to this time, I know for a fact that I made the right decision yeah. right now. So yeah. no, no matter sure. what yeah. happens, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm, I'm it, very very happy right it, now. It is yeah. funny during that process because I kind of went through very different level, but the same thing during my fourth and fifth year of college. Um, when I was playing, but it's funny how everyone gives you an opinion about if you should leave or go. Right. But it's always like the agents all want you to leave because they want you, they want to get your money yeah, right, right now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 100%. All the coaches always want you to stay. It's yeah. just funny, like, how do you figure out like who you're going to trust during that process? Even not just that process, but the process of your whole career. Yeah. Like, you know, how, how do you figure out who, you're, who your circle 100%. is? 100%. I, it's cool because, like, Franklin truly, yeah. he's always has your best interest. He, yeah, he's right. the type who, like, Coaches, I, I have heard of coaches saying, no, you yeah. shouldn't leave when it's like clear your as day you're a first round pick or a second round pick or something. Like he was telling Jahan to go. Yes. <laughs> Franklin, yeah. Coach Franklin is always in your best interest. Um, and, and I truly mean that. And, and, you know, I sat down with him, had really good conversations, you know, about talking about doing either. Um, and it, it was really good, you know, talked to my family. Um, yeah. And that's why I just knew the decision yeah. was right. You know, I didn't, leaving everybody out of it from, from the outside yeah. just and just you, you focusing knew. on what yeah. I want to do and what my, yeah. what's best for myself, the team, my family. Yeah. I was like, all right, this is the best decision. Yeah. So. No, I think it's, it's going to work out yeah. for sure. I do too. Let, let's, uh, let's dive into a little bit of just all the freaking games you've played at Penn State, your career to this point. I yeah, mean, because yeah. you've been through a lot. a lot. I mean, the ups and downs and, the, and yeah. we were talking earlier, like the just – cheering your name every second to the booze coming off yeah, the field. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, crazy. Like, no, it's, what, what's it been like, man? It's just, it's so, it's just so nuts. Coaster. Yeah. It's been a roller coaster. I mean, if you think about, you know, my time at Penn State, or at least my start, like yeah. time starting at Penn State, we have been top four in the country, yeah. playoff team. We've been 0-5 yeah, yeah, and yeah. everywhere in between. So, like, we've been everywhere. Um, and I've felt the, the highs and highs of, yeah. of winning in the whiteout, beating – you know, Michigan, Auburn, um, you know, making big plays. And, 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 you know, I remember we were at Plaza Mexican right down yeah. the street. Um, it's 2019, and we were about to play Minnesota that mm-hmm. week. And it was the Sunday. The college football playoff uh, polls had just mm-hmm. come out, and we were, like, sitting there watching the TV. Yeah. Boom, Penn State, number four. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, my God, let's Things go. change this a lot. Hype. Things yeah. change a lot a we're couple like, days this later. This is right? really sweet. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And, 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 then, and then after that, I even saw they were talking about the Heisman list, and my name was on the Heisman list. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this really <laughs> happening right now. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. And then we go to Minnesota, and it was just – it was like one of those games where they played a fantastic game. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we made a lot of mistakes. We had the chance to win at the end. Yeah. Just didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. And just seeing the highest of highs, and then just well, boom. Well, and yeah. I'm just getting – Crush on on social media, yeah. and that was like the first time. Didn't you? That del- I really you deleted felt that. your social media after that game, right? I didn't. Was that? I, yeah, I, I didn't look at social media look throughout like, yeah. the year yeah. a lot of times, but I especially after that. Yeah. Because I had like a time limit on my social media. Yeah. It wasn't that I just like completely yeah. got rid of it. I just remember seeing some headline that was like, talking yeah. about you delete or you." Well, because you know. I got death threats. That's right. Yes. Wait, that so was wait, like take a big me thing. through that. What? That was brutal, dude. Wait, it was, what happened? It was like, just it, like. It was it was like mail sent, and it was, it was it. yeah it was bad. But the, that was that was you really when have I seen the highs you, and the lows, dude. The highs and lows. But that was when I knew I could I could withstand anything yeah. here because you know I got through that. That was that was tough because when you're on cloud nine like that, yeah. it's like euphoric feeling. Yeah. You know, you're playing well, your team's around you. You know. We had such a great team in 2019. We've had great teams every year. Yeah. 2019 was a fantastic year, though. Um, great teammates, great yeah. environment. And then, boom, just kind of, like, crushed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we came back, won Indiana, and then I was, I was dealing with an injury at the time, and then we lost to Ohio State. Went to the Cotton Bowl, won. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just the ups and downs of that end of the year uh, was crazy. And just I, looking back on that, though, it was just – it's so yeah. nice to like looking back and, and knowing I got through that mm-hmm. because it was tough. It definitely yeah. was because I, I didn't, I was so young at the time. I didn't really know how to deal with criticism like that. Yeah. And, um, once I got through that year mm-hmm. and then 2020, especially 
I, I could, it's just I'd like anything in life though, right? Anything you're going to be great at, you're going to have ups and downs. Exactly. You know, you're going to yes. have peaks 100%. and valleys. And it's, it's funny that like you were talking about, you know, being young and like listening to the noise and, or the, the criticism, you know, yeah. I, this topic comes up almost every pot I've done so far is like, I, I feel like, especially when I was young, like you listen to the, to the praise. And then when you listen to the praise, you also listen to the noise. Where yeah. if you just don't listen to anything, yeah, you know, you and just, that's what you were just saying earlier, like you just don't listen to anything anymore. Yeah, I just, well, it's not even that I don't listen to anything because I don't I'll just see it. I'm not, I'm not yeah. on, I'm on Instagram, I'm on yeah. Twitter, all that stuff. It's not that I don't see it. It's just I just have seen everything. Yeah. Like I've seen people like being anymore. hyped, like yeah. oh, like this guy is gonna be a Heisman Trophy finalist, yeah. whatever. To also like, like literally go to hell yeah. so like like and everything in between so yeah. I've, I've heard and seen everything and I mean it's kind of a life lesson for everybody if you are gonna care about what everybody else has to say yeah. you're gonna look back 10 20 30 years from now and just be like damn I missed so yeah. many opportunities yeah um and and I just don't want to ever let that happen yeah so I you know I've, I've really made it a focus of myself to 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 make sure that I'm always doing yeah. As people, <laughs> yeah. um, always more. doing what, you know, yeah. what I want to do and, and what's best interest for my family, the team, and everybody in between. Yeah. Um, and, and I've had a really good yeah. experience there. What's it, uh, what's it like being the old guy in the QB room? Does it, does it, oh, uh, yeah. do you, like, you, look, you look around, you're like, <laughs> I was just <laughs> talking to the media about this. Yeah. I was, I was, they, they asked me the same question. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and they got me on a quote. <laughs> Our uh, social media guy, uh -huh. uh, Greg Kincaid, he, uh, he sent me it, and it was like, I, I mean, it's true though. Yeah. I'll literally ask guys. I'll be like, hey, like, the youngest guys. Hey, what's what's your number? And they'll say, I saw hey, the Snapchat. Let me grab your Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah. I'm like, if anything, give me your email so I can shoot you. Yeah, <laughs> but no, that, that's funny because it, it it's not like a different generation. It's just a younger generation. Yeah. Um, but it's it's been fun to be able to you know yeah. meet everybody and 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 you, this is a really good class. I truly yeah. believe that. I think that Penn State's in really good hands moving forward yeah. um, with this class. So, is he playing Papa Shot? Can you please tell him just to, like <laughs> if anything, Liam just not Papa Shot. <laughs> Liam, just tell just tell him we got this thing reserved. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna keep this in the pod, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, for sure. I, I I don't expect. I expect to see all this in here. This is raw. <laughs> shout out to the yards. Great shout, spot. Shout out Liam. Yeah. A little yeah, free yeah. promotion. <laughs> this is a great spot. A lot is he playing a lot now? <laughs> I don't know. He. <laughs> <laughs> we can just keep rolling, you know. You got us. Just anything but the anything but the pop -a shot because the pop shot is Liam, a little loud. Liam, you know? this is your pod appearance, dude. Say what's up. We got Sean's brother Liam, you know, <laughs> helping us out of security. Uh, but how how are the young guys though? So you, you said they're great, yeah, but like how are they? Yeah. Drew and Bo. Drew right? and Bo. Both, yeah. of, both of them are 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 sponges. They're really yeah. great people, um, on and off the field. Yeah. Um, you know, on the field, I think they're extremely talented players. Yeah. Both can play here. Um, both going to have fantastic careers. Yeah. And then on top of that, off the field, everybody gets along. You know, Christian Veyu, yeah. um, Mo Perula, Andrew Aller, all of us, you know, are really close yeah. um, already, which is cool because, you know, usually it takes a little bit to, to get yeah. to know everybody. But, I mean, we're what? They've been here for four months, and yeah. they're already well-connected with us. Yeah. Um, Bo's from where I'm from. He's from, like, close he? by Central PA. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I know his brother, his older brother, a little bit. Yeah, he yeah. plays at um, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, no. What um, you know, we were talking about it earlier, but when you when you are like in your last year, you know, it seems like everyone just wants to see the younger guy at that point. <laughs> you know, do, do, yeah, yeah. do you start hearing that now? I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I hear all of it. Yeah. I, I mean, I've seen it, seen it before. Again, I just don't really concern myself with it. But at the same time, the grass time, is always greener for the fans, right? I guess. Here. I mean, it's 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 cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I when I see the, the the young guys and the talent that they have, yeah. I mean, they're going to be fantastic. Like yeah. they really will. I, I believe in all three of them. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's yeah. just one of those things for me. You, you know, I'm just I'm just living out my dream right now, yeah. and and I'm not gonna let any, or concern with anything else, um, because I just I just know I just have this great opportunity in front of us, yeah. not, not just myself, but to the whole team and you know Penn State and everybody. Yeah. Um, so it's like hard to, you know, 
be down about or anything about or like it, yeah. see a tweet and you're yeah. like, oh, like, yeah. I mean, why? <laughs> like, what? I mean, yeah. For sure. People are going to have their opinions, and you, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. It's you know? funny. There's been a lot of QBs that come in and out of that room since you've been there, huh? A lot. <laughs> Will Levis. Oh, we've had Robinson. some dogs, for sure. Yeah, I mean, Will's we got, a stud. Yeah, he's yeah, killing it. Will, Will Levis at, at Kentucky. Shout out, Will. I was just talking to him. Actually, he texted me today. Um, uh, Will, take one. Roberson's now at That's UConn. Right, yeah. I mean, I've been in the same room with Trace, <laughs> Tommy, Jake Trace, Zembeck. Yeah. Uh, Billy Fessler, who's Jake coaching Zembeck. at Akron. I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah, Jake Zembeck. He, yeah, he's uh, he's back yeah. home, I think, um, in in uh, New York. And then uh, Michael Schuster, he's at ODU Schuster, coaching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, great dude. Love Schuster. I mean, the list goes on and on. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Michael Sh- Johnson Jr., who was a who was a player, he, he transferred out. Schuster hit me up and he was like, "When, when am I coming on the pod?" I was Is like, that what he said? I said it had to be a slow guest week in order to get you on the pod. <laughs> I have to be really struggling. I'm <laughs> sure you can, you can get some really yeah. good content. Oh, be great. With, he, that's with what he Michael said. He goes, Schuster. I'll tell you some stories. Yeah, there you <laughs> he go. Said, he said, we make headlines. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's funny. But, One uh, way or another. I, I, let's dive into the new endeavor, man. Let's dive into Limitless yeah. NIL. And, and I want to, I just, I have so many questions just about like, you know, how you set it up, the structure. Yeah, a lot of but, people are, yeah, I've been asking It's just that too. so curious. And I'm a, I'm a like business guy and I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. And when I, when you messaged me and told me about it, I was like, that's such a sick idea you know and and it's very bold like I what I like the most about it with you is like really just like again not caring what everyone's going to think about it and just being like I'm just going to do it you know and not you know just like it's the best thing for me and my family and I'm gonna make it happen yeah yeah for sure like how how does even come up like what how did even like (laughs) you're like let's just start a business yeah no, it definitely didn't come up with like that. It was not. It was that not that easy. You were like, let's just find one. <laughs> yeah, no. This goes all the way back to 2019, honestly. Mm-hmm. So, it, it was actually I just found the picture. I, I was I had a bunch of pictures I needed. Yeah, to I'm gonna we'll so, put these in the pot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Throw them up. Yeah. You know, boom, there it is. Uh, but 2020, um, it was it was January 2020 or February. I think the picture mm-hmm. was like February 4th, 2020. Um, and I was in this creative advertising class with my with my now co-worker Trevor Robinson okay. um, and Trevor you know great dude shout out Trevor Robinson um, but so Trevor and I had a had a you know just a, a class project and and the an objective was just to, to rebrand a company okay and instead of rebranding the company we were like can we just you know there was some talks about NIL coming out yeah and I was like can we just do my brand is that is that okay yeah. and, and the professor was like that's a little weird but yeah sure <laughs> like yeah you could do that um, so we, so we literally just created like my brand and mm-hmm. ever since that, and we got an A on the project, Kit yeah. crushed it. Um, and Absolutely. ever since that day, I just like always had a real kind of passion for like seeing other people's brands yeah. and, 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 and their, you know, abilities to be creative yeah. and everything. And, and I've, I've always thought of myself as a pretty creative guy. Um, so once that class happened, you know, NIL kind of went through and then July 1st, 2021 hits mm-hmm. and NIL drops. Yeah. And, and I, so the first person I text is Trevor. Mm-hmm. And I, so I give him a call. I'm like, hey, bro, like, I have no idea what this looks like. He's yeah. working for a creative advertising okay, company cool. at this point, yeah. like in, this, in, his, yeah. in his career. He's like, I'm like, I don't know what this is going to look like. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to pay you a bunch. I don't even know yeah. if I'll be able to pay you at all. Yeah. But can you just like manage me in general? Yeah. So he was like, yeah, I got you. So we went through the whole year, worked with some agencies on and off, um, you know, not exclusively, and had a really good good experience. You know, mm-hmm. highs, lows. Um, you know, had some some trip ups during NIL. Had some some great moments. Yeah. Had some a lot of fun. Made some money, and then on top of that, like a lot or a little, like a good amount. A good amount. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, ESPN put it out, so I, I will. I mean, you could find it there. Um, Oh, we're not just gonna tell us. <laughs> I, it was it was six figures for okay. sure, um, but it, it was it was a great experience. It really was, and it wasn't. It was it was. I'm not gonna lie. Early on, it was about it was about the money because it was just so crazy. It yeah. was like, whoa, like we could all make money now. Such a off new this? thing, yeah. So new. Yeah. Everybody was kind of like that. We were yeah. all like, all right, money grab. Like, where, where can you kind of? Fa-? And then once the back end of the season, I started to kind of hone in and just say like, all right, this is kind of all over the place. It's kind of wild, wild yeah. west right now. So. As an old guy, and then once I decided to come back, this is when it really flipped for yeah. me, was how can I help student athletes navigate this crazy yeah. new world? Because no one really had, I mean, still no. nobody really has Even an the answer. agents don't know. Nobody. <laughs> They're like, what are we doing? Nobody. Yeah. Anybody who tells you they have all the answers is yeah. lying. Yeah. I'm telling you, 
as the CEO of my own company, <laughs> yeah. I don't even have all the answers and nobody does, but I truly feel like I'd have, you know, the most because yeah. I'm in it. And you'll figure it out. Literally, yeah, yeah and yeah. we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. Um, but with the company, it was, you know, I started kind of creating the idea, you mm -hmm. know, Liam, myself, Trevor, um, and then a couple other people, we were just kind of bouncing the idea around, yeah. like, what would that look like? What, what could we really do? Would it be consulting? Would it be an agency? Mm -hmm. Would we just kind of do some marketing, whatever it may be? And then long story short, I mean, now we just launched last week. Yeah. Um, you know, we got a couple, like a thousand followers on, on Instagram, putting our podcast out now, um, and, and signed, what, how many are we at now? You signed a couple today, right? Nine? I think I think we might be at we by probably when this launches we'll yeah. probably be a double It'll we'll be a definitely be a double yeah. digits yeah I love it at ten so what's the process okay so you're you're trying to sign say I'm playing at Penn State yeah you're trying to sign me yeah what's are you giving them a pitch deck are yeah. you going in and meeting with them so we have like how involved are you mm -hmm. or your business partners yeah or? so we have a really really good team yeah. um, you know formed of, of of great people selected their you know through. A lot of research from my, yeah. myself. I, I really, I wanted to make sure I did this right. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, Aeneas Hawkins, who was you know a former Penn State player, yeah. he is now um, my yeah. chief he seems athlete like a stud. officer. He seems great, like a stud. Dude. Yeah. great dude. Great yeah. dude. Catch him on the podcast. Yeah. Um, he's our, he's the That's host. Right. You guys have a podcast. Yes, now, the we do as well. Podcast. Can yeah. I plug my yeah. podcast yeah, on there? Plug it. Go ahead. Limitless yeah. NIL podcast. Yeah. Listen in. Maybe he even plugs the link. That'd be really cool. Yeah, uh, we'll throw it on there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And we'll play. Video editors throw it. In yeah, we'll, we'll we'll plug yeah, each other. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Aeneas um, is on a team. Brad Kraut, um, who is a. If yeah. you want to see some stuck? fire content, really, look up Brad Kraut okay. on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm is giving it, him the shout like out. His content, or is he producing? Yeah, he's got it? this whole thing called Kick the Sheets. Okay. So he actually he just came out with a video today about how he formed it. So he has this whole, like, whole movement uh -huh. called Kick the Sheets, and it's based off of because when he started working with me mm -hmm. to create the company, he started kicking the sheets to like get up out of bed. So because he'd be he'd be getting up at like 5:30 in the morning, yeah. kicking the sheets, getting up, <laughs> and now he just. I'm not even a, you, you could probably show his TikToks so on, on like here. So that's like his brand, Kick the Sheets? Kick the Sheets. Really? It's nuts. But he's, <laughs> he's, he's insane. But he's a great dude. Works yeah. really hard. So shout out Brad. Um, but yeah, we have Brad Kraut, Drew Britt, um, and, and, you know, a few other people, on, you know, it, it, doing the behind yeah. the scenes. Um, but it's, it's just a fantastic crew. What's like the day to day of the company? Like, that's the yeah. one thing I was curious about. Like, what's your involvement like day to day now? Yeah. Like, are you a CEO during the day and you just go to practice? Is that like. And, and also Liam. I, Liam I, yeah. I, obviously. We got, but we got he's plug also. Yeah. Yeah, everyone yeah. knows that. Um, but um, no, it's, my days are packed. Yeah, I bet. This yeah. is what I've been telling people, and, it's, and I really mean this. So, I mean, I'll wake up, you know, whatever. Like, today it was 6 15. 6 15. Mm. Went in the facility, watched our tape, went to class. Then from like nine. Or you have class? I do. Dude, I, I do still go to school here. You did something here. wrong. If you're in class right now. <laughs> no, yeah, I do still go to school here. I'm actually gonna finish my broadcasting, my second degree in broadcasting, um, coming up here in the fall. But so I'll go to class, and then I'll always allocate a certain amount of hours in a day, and I share my schedule with my team gotcha. from. Say it was 10 30 or something. Like, Google, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Google, Google Drive. Google Drive you know? yeah. Shout out to Google. Uh, 10 30 to, I think today was like 1 30. Yeah. Just work on, on limitless. Yeah. Then, then I had class again. Then I went to lift. And then after lift today, actually rolled right over here. Right but here. usually yeah. after lift, you know, watch some, watch some tape, you know, catch yeah. up on everything. So from like the minute I get up, to the, the, the minute I put my head down on the yeah. pillow, I am going. And for me, it's actually, I've, I've realized a lot about myself just because I love just always working. Yeah. I really do because I'm not, I'm not a big video game guy yeah. anymore. I used to love video games, still do, but mm -hmm. I just, I don't play them that much. Yeah. I don't watch TV really. You know, I, got, I got my girlfriend, I got you know, my brother and my teammates yeah. and that's really it. Like I don't really yeah. do much else. Um, other than working, and I and I really do love it. And when I go to the facility now, because it's just like I, I set my schedule yeah. so strict. more intentional now. Yeah. Yes, very yeah. intentional. And my brain's always working. So when yeah. I get on the field now, 
everything's clicking at a different level. Like yeah. I'm seeing things differently. My yeah. brain's thinking differently. Um, no wasted really energy. Ha- no, no wasted energy. I'm having, yeah. a, and, I, and I'm having probably the best spring I've had. I love it. Um, because yeah. I was, that was one thing I was nervous about was, yeah. you know, with opening this, how am I going to feel? You know, there's yeah. going to be, you know, if, if I don't play well, oh, is it, he's taking exactly. too much time yeah. out of this day. Yeah. For the you know how people are. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What, what, what were the conversations like with, like, Penn State? Like, were you, like, telling Coach Franklin, like, hey, I'm going to start a business? Like, yeah, were, mean, they, like were they ever, like, So they can't have, like, they have to have, a, a, obviously, with compliance, you they have to have, that, like, yeah. a, a separate. But True. they've always yeah. been supportive of everything with NIL with us. Yeah. Um, and moving forward, they really are. Yeah. Um, they, they've been nothing but great to to myself and 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 my brother and everybody who's gotten involved with nil i mean to the fact that they support my company like just me doing it because you know there's coaches out there would definitely been like dude no no you're not doing that yeah but you know coach franklin knows who i am he knows how hard i work and he knows that i'm going to still take care of my business on off the field um with school and also you know yeah um with the company and then on obviously actually playing um and you know, it was kind of a, a prove, like, all right, keep proving it to me. And then yeah. throughout this spring, I've been playing really well and, and enjoying it. And, you know, he's all for it. And yeah. I think it's going to help everybody in the long, like, that's that's yeah. the main goal. Obviously. And they obviously trust you at this point, right? Yeah. If they don't, there's no, they, issues. Yeah. 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 We when have it, a different you, issue. Well, you know how it is, whenever you throw your first interception, there's going to be those fans tweeting, like, well, if you didn't spend no, so much time on his yep. business. It's <laughs> probably a waste of time on Limitless. <laughs> yeah. Ah. It, it is, uh, I feel like there, there were, like, externally, there were frustrations with, like, how, Penn State was handling the NIL situation. Like yeah. they just said they were kind of like behind the times a little bit with like, did you feel that way at all or not? A little bit. I mean, and, and that wasn't why I would create a company or anything. Yeah. It wasn't because so know, that, I was gonna, was That's what I was going to so. ask you, like to tie it in. Like, is that kind of a, did it, you have like, you no. felt like people were like, It wasn't like that. Um, you know, they just came out with success of the honor. I saw um, the collective. Which yeah. is the collective. Yeah. You know, a lot of schools are doing that. <laughs> that stuff so crazy, man. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> it's just oh, the wild, dude. wild west. Which is like, they, they're doing it the right way. <laughs> yeah. Of, you know, just connecting brands and companies with, with players, you know, at a very, very basic, like basic yeah. level of just making sure, you know, we're doing our due, dil- due diligence and they're yeah. putting people in front of us. Um, but, you know, I'm seeing some crazy things across dude. the country. Like, dude, it is insane. I'm seeing Tennessee kid just got You're paid just like buying. 8 million. Just buying players. I think yeah. that. I'm dude, pretty how, sure Caleb Williams got paid out in USC. No like, there's some serious how, how much out different is college football today than it was the day you got into college? So much. I mean, like, <laughs> like to the team. It couldn't be crazy. I mean, let me ask you, how much I mean, different is I'm it old, now? I'm old, dude. Don't hear it. Dude, dude it's if, funny. We, if I would have gotten a bagel from like the wrong person back in the day, yeah, you'd be, I would be NCAA would be on you. Like, I would so be funny. out for six games. Dude, I was just and texting. And now it's like. I was You're just getting t- thrown ten million dollars. It's nuts. It's crazy. I was just texting Gasicki the other day. Mike Gasicki, uh, uh, did you play with Mike? Yeah. Yeah, I had a couple one year years. With him. Yeah. Yeah. One, um, yeah. One year. One year. And uh, I was just texting him, and we were like, "Dude, we would have made so much money in an IL." <laughs> like, yeah. So we would have been at the freaking Penn State bookstore every day doing autograph signings. <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, it it yeah. it's kind of like that. It, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And no, that class. Trace. Think about twenty. They Saquon. Made. Saquon. Yeah. Deshaun Hamilton, Gasicki, yourself. So much I mean, dude, there's some serious money yeah. makers in that group. Yeah. Marcus Allen, yeah. Grant Hale. I mean, kind of the list goes on and on. They really that are. That class was crazy. That was a crazy crew. Yeah. That 2016 Big Ten champion group was a, was a great crew. Yeah, so you got to learn from – you learned from Trace a little bit, right? Yeah. How many years was that? Two. Two years two. with Trace. You were never there with Hackenberg because you would have been there no. with me. So, no, do you know I, Christian at all? I, yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. He's a I good do. dude. He's a great dude. Yeah. Um, but, no, I, I was never in the same room with him. Yeah. No. What's, uh, like, speaking of those guys, like, what's it? It's got to be surreal to be at the top of those record books with some of the dudes that have played here, man. Yeah, I mean, like, it's looking at. <laughs> has look, it hit you yet that you're, like, you're it is breaking crazy. those records? It's crazy, yeah. yeah. I mean, looking at the, the talent that's come through Penn State at the quarterback position, you know, yeah. Trey's still on the Cardinals. You know, Hack had his stint in the NFL. But, you know, fantastic player. Yeah. Um, you know, you got Todd Blackledge. You got, you know, like every, like the whole the history of Penn State football with, with quarterbacks is impressive. And, and just to be able to be in that conversation and, and and when I look at the record books and, you know, I'm talking about Trace McSorley and, and Christian and all that yeah. and, and seeing my name with those guys, it, it definitely does feel good. Yeah. Um, but, again, it's, like, hard to look at that stuff because, like, the job's not done. No, for so. sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> job's like, not done, man. It's time to like really I love break it. records. Well, so. speaking of job not being done, what's like what's the personal and the team goal for this season? Like, what's like the barrier where you're like that's success? I don't think like, it's changed. Yeah. Like just because you know we've had highs and lows, it's always going to be Big Ten championship. It's always yeah. going to be putting ourselves in the college football playoff. Um, so it, it hasn't changed because we have the talent. Yeah. I mean, we're, the last last recruiting class I'm pretty sure was like number one mm-hmm. or two. So, I mean, it's not like we're not talented. We're just, yeah. you know, it's college football. Like, things happen. Yeah. Um, what we were just talking about um, before we started recording was going into Iowa, the Iowa week yeah. last year. I mean, like. We were fourth in the country. Fourth in the country. Playing the number three team yeah. in the country. And, and then we you, were winning. And then you get hurt. And, by two touchdowns. Yeah. If um, you don't get hurt, I mean. I'm not going to. I'm not. I know. I'm not we, gonna, I know. Yeah. I know. But I'm just. <laughs> but it, it's just, you know, like you just talked about. Like, you were right there. Yeah. No, we were right there. Um and it, it, I mean, last year was a, it, it was a up and down year too. Yeah. Um, definitely was a bummer when I because that's the thing. You know how it is with with playing playing ball, is if if you if you're gonna fail, if I'm gonna fail and I fail just doing it like mm-hmm. trying, that's one thing, right? Like, you know, that, that's yeah. I, I know in the in my heart that I put everything I had on the field. Yeah. But when it's an injury, it it's things tough. a little bit differently yeah. because then it's like. Damn. You can't control it. Like yeah. You couldn't so do anything control. about it. Yeah. You had all the, I mean, you work for, what, seven months off season grinding yeah. for those those 12 games. Yeah. And then it's just And like it just that. it just nags you then the rest of the year. It's not yeah. for long. Yeah, it's yeah. not for long. Really? But that's why, really yeah. It, yeah. But it's, it's, it's a good experience for what, sure. What, uh, this is something I'm curious to, to hear. What's your, what's your favorite couch. moment? What's that? Sinking in the couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lounging over here. I know. What was, what's been your favorite moment of your career? That's like so hard to say. I know. No. I figured it. Would I know. Be. That's a great like, question. Like, one though. moment you're like, so far you're like, dude, that was like the dopest moment. It's gotta be my first whiteout. Yeah. I know it's cliche, but that so experience was, that was just 2019. 2019. Yeah. Michigan. I'm losing track whiteout. of all your years here. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice 2012. Jab there. Was it? <laughs> yeah, right. Back when Paterno was here, yeah, probably right. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, it had to have been 2019 in Michigan because. Just, I mean, such a sick vibe. No, it's one of those things where, and you know how it is. I'll watch the the playback, like, uh-huh. right, like because every player does when they're playing. You yeah. watch your highlights and you watch like you know the mm-hmm. big games that you're playing because it's cool. Like when I was a kid, yeah. that was the, who I aspired to be. So it was cool to watch yourself in in real time yeah. doing it, um, and and being in in the moment. So when I watch the Michigan game back, and I watch us coming out of the tunnel, yeah, I get. Goosebumps. I'm getting yeah. goosebumps already just thinking it about it because it's an crazy, out of body experience. You can't explain it. You can't yeah. explain it. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. It really is. It's just crazy because all that work and all that effort, and then just to see a community come together like that. Yeah. There's very I'm few getting, places. I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm Dude, not gonna lie. There really are very few places like Penn State. It very like few. like the, it, I, it, I try to explain it to people. Penn State's like, top two, and it's not two. No, exactly. That's how I say. It. I agree. It's it's such a it's unique cool. place. Like and and. You know, you weren't even part of this, but like I talked to the guys like in my class a lot, like about like we went through all the sanctions and stuff together. I know. And like there weren't many Y'all places really I think that. Together. I, well, you know, a lot of guys did in a lot of those classes, but like there weren't many places I think could have withstood like what no. you know. No, and that's not something like that is it, we talk about that too, and we talk about this too. Like the current team doesn't even realize like where that place was like no. s- seven years ago. No, like, dude, it people, too long ago. people literally were like saying like Penn State won't win a game for like five years. <laughs> like, it's, no. it's just. And now, and now, and now you guys, it's now like, it's always a if you're not top four, it's yeah, like, it's, it's like it's fire everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. <laughs> Such a crazy yeah. town. What, no, what are you going to sure. miss most about Penn State when you're gone? Other than game days? Yeah. Probably just, just the relationships that I've built. Yeah. Just with my teammates. Um, and that's like the one thing that's been a little bit hard and challenging is being older now, you know, watching some of my best buddies, you know, my, my own roommates, like Tariq Castro Fields, he, he's, he's leaving for the NFL, he's yeah. going to the NFL, he's going to get drafted, you know, when is it, next week now? Uh, it, end sorry? of April, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so coming yeah. up, um, you know, Tariq Castro Fields, Fred Hansard has moved on, um, you know, John Lovett was my roommate this Lovett, past yeah. year. He was he was the running back. He's 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 trying his luck at the league. Um, you know, the list goes on and on of my of my past roommates. Like yeah. and, and, and just the guys I like 
like Jahan and and um, you know KJ Hamler, like all my best buddies. Yeah. J- J- Journey Brown. Um, yeah. I, I That's so know. sad I, about Journey, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And, and and Journey like truly is the best dude yeah. ever. Like just genuinely yeah. fantastic person. Yeah. So that was why it was so hard, like for everyone around him. Mm-hmm. I know it was tough on him. Yeah. But it was hard to see him go through that because you just knew what he came from yeah. and you knew how great of a person he is and he deserved everything that was coming to him. Yeah. Um, but I have no doubt that journey's going to be just fine. Yeah. Cause For sure, the dude's yeah. a beast. Yeah. Like, yeah, th- th- there's dudes. That, like, you're one of those guys too. Like you know, there's guys like if you took football away from them, like you know that they're going to be successful no matter yeah, what they do. Yeah, yeah. You know? JB's that That's guy. Definitely for sure. yeah. Yeah. You're, speaking of like guys moving on, wh- how do you think like the current state of college football with like all the turmoil and coaching staffs, like just the turnover that constantly happens, like how how difficult does that make it for teams and like I mean because you're always dealing with new coordinators and Dude. new. Like, and on they, top like, of that, the transfer portal. Exactly, now? that's what I mean. Like everyone's just—it's co- everywhere. Coaches come and go, players come and go. Like the coaches that recruited you probably aren't even here. I don't know who they were, but like Ricky Ronnie, other than Franklin, yeah, I mean Ronnie, Ronnie's not yeah, here. He's like, not like, here now. Um, Donovan, I committed under John Donovan. Like, did John you? Donovan. I love JD yeah. at the time when I committed, which is like really dating myself back. That, like, that, really that was crazy. my last year at Penn State. Was he yeah, really? Was, was JD was the OC? He got fired my last year there. Yeah. 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 But yeah, what's that? That was who I committed under. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. and then he, it was, it was quick. Because yeah. then they brought in Jomo, and yeah. Jomo was great. And I, that's why I was like, yeah. no, not, didn't waver one bit. Jomo's the man. He was yeah. awesome. He's, he is a great dude. Um, great coach. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy with, with, with how the, the coaching carousel is, and then on top of that now with the transfer portal. Yeah. I mean, it's like free agency. Oh, and now with nuts. NIL, it's like, Mm-hmm. If you're any type of guy, yeah, you're, you're getting paid. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. Your market value, like my market value, is X amount, right? Mm-hmm. At, at Penn State, you know, you, you know, there's probably a cap to how much I can make. Mm-hmm. But the minute you enter the transfer portal, your market value goes through the yeah. roof because now it's a bidding war. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like who who can show you the most yeah. most deals? What what are we doing for nil? What are you doing here? What are you doing yeah. for your finances? What it and that's where it's just kind of crazy because, yeah. I mean, I'm like we were talking about earlier. We're seeing big deals pop up left and right, <laughs> it's and it's nuts. also like, how are these being executed? Because <laughs> yeah. you can't With, just pay someone involved. eight yeah. million dollars. Because the school can't be involved. Because that's in like it. money laundering. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I so don't really nuts. understand like those yeah. type well, things. That was like I was going to ask you this next, but we just kind of got into it. Like, how do you fix college? Like football, college football has got so many issues. Yeah, you got coaches like. Coaches that leave in the blink of an eye and just there's like no loyalty anymore, which like I'm not saying that I mean, like go get your bag. Like I'm all for coaches getting their bag, but and you I, got that. Well, you got I, I will stop okay, you real quick yeah. because I do I do have to say about Coach Franklin. Oh he's he's the most loyal dude yeah. you'll meet. Because he is he he has been there for me from the jump and for the team and yeah. on top of that, like he's had so many opportunities. Like people don't understand how oh. many opportunities he's had. USC probably to, wanted to move on. Yeah. And he has stayed with yeah. Penn State. Like, he is the man. Yeah. Um, he's, so like, but he's the exception, he's there, not the rule. He is yeah. the exception because yeah. there's a lot of movement in college football, yeah. 100%. But, no. No, it, it is every is, single is year. You, he's always the top list of every, at every program. Because yeah. if you want a program builder, USC, 100%. they want Franklin. You know, yeah. like, he's done it here. And he's done it. Yeah. it, it he's, it's he's amazing. He just got his bag, though. <laughs> I'm happy yeah, for did. him. Yeah, yeah, I texted yeah. him when he got that. <laughs> man. That was, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's life-changing money. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. I'm not going <laughs> to not play but, that. <laughs> uh, but, no, I mean, like, just college football in general, like, there's so many, like, so many just, so much tor- turmoil going on at all times in college football. Yeah. Like, I, someone's going to have to come in and, like, well, that's sell why, it down a little bit. That's why Limitless NIL is here. Yeah. I'm really trying to pave the way. Um, yeah. and, and make sure that, you know, guys in the portal, girls too, don't get me wrong. Like this is a both yeah. male and female. And we There's have a huge fit. market for girls. Anna like, Camden is one of our, our, yeah. our talents. Shout out Anna Camden. She is a, she kills it, right? Oh, her social media is mm-hmm. crazy. Her content's yeah. fantastic. Uh, we're just going to try to, you know, add to her, yeah. um, and bring a lot of value, but no, she's got to figure it out. And, and there's so many, you know, women in the sports as well. That is just so fantastic, you know, from their brands, off the field to what they're doing on the on on the field or yeah. on the court or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, I was just watching the the, the women's NCAA championship uh, what a week or two ago. Um, those girls can ball. Yeah, crazy. I'm killing it. You know, I don't yeah. because I don't I, I 
before I made the company, I, I, I definitely, you know, watched all types of sports, mm -hmm. but now I'm kind of diving more like deeper into yeah. everything. And wow, it's cool to see like some of these athletes just yeah. do, do what they do at a high level. Um, Cause it's always cool just to see someone in their moment, yeah. you know, when, when, mm -hmm. when you're in that, that yeah. different stage. The and that's all across the board. 100%. So. And, the, and the one thing I loved about, because I was reading about Limitless, your company, obviously, before we talked and when, yeah. you, when you announced it. It's cool. The part I liked about it was you guys talked about like content creation, like building, building a brand for, for your athletes, because that's what like so many agencies don't do. Yeah, and they're yeah. just like negotiating deals. And, and I always tell people, and this is something like, I look back on my career and like, you know, I didn't get to play in the NFL because of my knee, but like I was an All-American, like had a lot mm -hmm. of success. I didn't build my brand well enough when I was playing football. Like I, number one, I cared way too much about like, oh, you're posting the perfect picture on Instagram, you know? Yeah, Like yeah. if I could go redo it, I would have been posting on Instagram. I would have documented my whole Every, life. Yeah. I would have done YouTube vlogs. Because sure. like no one will care about you as much as they care about you when right you're playing now. football. Yeah, right. 100%. So like if you're not building your brand, and you know, it's different. Like if you're a quarterback, like it's built for you, right. you know? Like, but no, like I'm for not going to lie, the quarterback position has yeah, like, opened different. Some But like if you're sure. like a tight end or like a lineman or like, yeah. I mean, you know, like I just think it's so important for people to be like just posting content and like yeah. sharing about their life and like I doing mean, podcasts. And for like, sure. Like why would you not want people to get to know you? Because again, like, you know, if you weren't the starting quarterback at Penn State, would you be on this podcast right now? Probably, Probably not. not. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just like, you know, it, yeah. it's no one cares as much as they do when you're playing. So that's 100%. why I love what you guys are talking about, like yeah. maximizing that part. Yeah, because we're just trying to, the big thing is that I'm seeing and I've seen for a long time is, is why NIL is so great is, is for two reasons. One, to be able to change your life in college and, yeah. and maybe, you know, make a, a certain amount of money to, to, to really start your life off, mm -hmm. right? Or change your family's life back home or whatever it may be. And then two is to really just be creative and, yeah. and get to know, I mean, the relationships now, they always talk about, right? You know, Coach Franklin and the staff always talk about, like, get to know the alumni, you know, yeah. they'll, they'll be helpful Especially in, in the future. <laughs> yeah. Now it's, I mean, I've talked to so many CEOs of, of Fortune 500 companies and, yeah. and I've been in the, like, really good discussions with some of the best of the best, you know, brains across the across the country yeah. and honestly across the world such a cool experience when you're oh young my god and, yeah. and now creating the company and, and talking to companies about partnerships yeah. and equity and and that was the thing i was also talking with the media a couple days ago or yesterday um was it's crazy because now in the locker room you know how it is like on a fr friday after practice oh what you doing later tonight yeah. like whatever where, where the girls at yeah whatever it may be uh, not anymore hey, yeah no yeah we have. you got a babe. girlfriend yeah. i was gonna ask you about her honestly <laughs> that was that was my next one well, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, you can ask <laughs> right plug her too yeah um but no it, it's it's crazy because now i mean we just i'm leaving the facility yeah there's a team there's in the team meeting room a bunch of guys are in there getting a, a tax like a tax seminar yeah and then we're in the in the in the in the, in the the locker room talking about, oh, should I take equity from this yeah. from this person? Oh my God, come here! But the conversations are uh -huh. so much different now, and it's yeah. good. It's really yeah. good. It, it really is cool. Yeah. Um, Have you done this any is equity Brad deals? Kraut, the What's one up, I was man? talking about, oh, the, the sheets nice guy. Meet you, man. Nice to meet you, How you doing, man? It's a pleasure. Oh, he was he was just talking you up a little bit. I was I was, yeah. I was promoting the kick the sheets. Kick the sheets, oh, right? Yeah, I love it. Who was talking about? Yeah, man. Yeah. Um. Did, did you answer like, about the equity? Have you done equity deals? Like, have you have you gotten any? Like, I have not done any that, NIL that's, equity that's deals. That's the interesting thing, dude. You get one percent of a company to do, you know, that blows up into yeah. a million. It could be crazy. That, that would be exciting. I, that's what I've been telling athletes. Yeah. It's like, why why not go for? Yeah. If you're going to promote a company, like ten grand a, now or take the equity. You know, it's like right. Yeah. If you believe in the company that you're promoting, why yeah. not take the equity? Yeah. Like, no doubt. You're gonna see way more like ROI in the future. Yeah. You know, so. No, for sure. It's such a crazy thing. Yeah. <laughs> crazy no, it's time, nuts. man. It's crazy. What? Uh, give me. Um, who's the player on the team that's gonna surprise people the most? This year. Yeah. That's a tough one because there's a. You lot. can name multiple people if you want. Yeah. I I think I gotta start across the ball and now I get to offense, but like, I'm seeing a lot of a lot of growth from Zaki Wheatley. He moved to safety from corner. Yeah. Looks really good. Um, you know, everyone knows Jair Brown at safety yeah. and, and Keaton Ellis, you know, those guys. Um, but it's a key. Jay Reed is, is playing well as, as, as well. Um, you know, I think Curtis Jacobs, he played last year, started. Yeah. But 
you know, Brandon Smith was here and Ellis was here, so they were kind of like the That's right, yeah. not the main. Yeah. You know, all three of them are really good, yeah. but now Curtis Jacobs is like the guy yeah. um, of LBU. You'll hear his name a bunch. I think Adisa Isaac at the DN position because he got hurt right. last year, um, and no one. He, I mean, I don't Stunt. even have to say it. Yeah, you'll yeah. see him soon. Yeah. Um, but re- I mean, realistically, there's a lot of guys across the. Kalen King is going to be great um, at corner. Um, you know, Marquise Wilson. I, I mean, the list goes on and on. There. So you guys are going to be good. You're We're going to be name the whole roster. Yeah, I, I know. I, I'm not trying to. I just love. My, I mean, we yeah. got some dogs on my team. Yeah. So, um, and then offensively, I mean, I'll tell you what. That Nick Singleton kid's going to be good. Uh, PA he's guy. A, yeah, PA he's a, boy. He's, Central he's PA. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's, he's a stud. He's, he's a stud. And yeah. that whole running back room. How's Katron Allen? Katron Allen. Yeah. We recruited Super him at ASU crazy, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's crazy good, too. Yeah. I mean, the whole room, you got Devin Ford, uh, uh, Key, uh, you got um, Kaz. Uh, I mean, the whole room, like, top to bottom how's, is, is uh, how's, fantastic. How's Mitchell? Tinsley? Yeah. He's my roommate. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And he's... Freak? You'll know his yeah. name, too. <laughs> yeah. The, hey, we lost one five. Yeah. There's another five going <laughs> yeah. to town. And Mitch got something to say about that. But, uh, I was going to ask you who your, uh, like, who, what receiver you had the best chemistry with, with throughout your career. It's got to be, you got to be five, right? <laughs> okay, so if this is, this is the discussion that we have okay. internally between yeah. five and also one, because KJ yeah. and I had a really good connection, too. Yeah. We just had a shorter time together. Yeah. Um, so it's hard. It's yeah. hard to decide between the two of them because if, if well, I if say one or one. the other, you to, you no, no, no. If one. I say one or the other on this podcast, I'm getting a call when this launches, and I'm gonna get... pick one right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a TikTok clip, clip out of it and tag both of them in it. Oh, no, I'm just God. kidding. You don't have to. Yeah, no, I, 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 can't, I can't do it. Right? I don't not ruin any friendships. No, no. Um, but it's gonna be exciting to see where Jahan goes, though. Yeah, I think he's no, gonna good. be first rounder. Yeah, and it was. We, I actually have to throw his pro day. Really? Yeah. It was the first year that they allowed underclassmen. I saw, I saw that they asked Yursich about that. The media asked him. Did you see this? No. The media, they asked Yursich you know, about yeah, it? Yeah. So I, I saw it on Twitter. So they asked Yursich, Sean threw for pro day, like, how'd he look? And he goes, I don't understand why that's relevant. And he just walked off. That's like Coach Yursich. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's awesome. It's so funny. That's it's awesome. So, that's just like one I mean, of the first rounds. I mean, it's not relevant at all. No. Like, what, yeah. what I would have said the same thing, probably. Um, but uh, – but no, the, that was an awesome time, the, going Friday? back to that. Yeah, yeah, because I was, I really, I, obviously, I mean, that's my guy, Jahan. Yeah. And I wanted to throw for him um, the same way I wanted to throw for KJ, but the, the rule wasn't in place at that time. I was gonna they say, switched it. So the, I was going to say, how did you end up doing it? They just that? switched it this really? year. Yeah. Okay. And so they switched the rule, and I could throw for him, so I got to, got to throw. Yeah. It, was, it was so much fun just that's to be cool. out there yeah. playing ball one more last time that's with, with Jahan. Without really I mean, the pressure you know, of play day. together yeah. again, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was a really cool experience. Yeah. Um, it was short lived too because the minute that I threw, I was bolting it out because I had a I had a big class project that I had to do. <laughs> like like I was presenting in, the, in a class like yeah. for this newscast. So I was like, I went back to I the class it's so, sweating. It's so funny to me that you're like still in classes. Like yeah, like, like I, I get that a lot. Yeah. What's Probably that? because I'm you know 23 years old yeah. also. So. <laughs> <laughs> what well, the the one thing I think that I'm interested in is I think fans are interested in is like your uh, process during game week. One of our clients, Jair Brown. <laughs> yeah, you got to take a client call, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll wait for that one. I'll yeah, wait for that it's one. business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> t- t- take him, t- I'm call you back. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, he just saw you ignore his call on, on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I, it's not intentional. He's going to fire intentional. you, right? <laughs> I'm, it's not um, intentional. Take me through your process of, uh, like, during game week. Like, mm-hmm. the technicalities are like, okay, on – Sunday, what film are you watching on Monday? Yeah. Like, what's like the, the what's the process as a quarterback? Yeah, yeah. Like, are you doing like first downs on? Yeah, you know. it's it's pretty strict. Like, I mean, I definitely, I'm not as strict as other guys. Like, some guys like wear like this shirt on yeah. Monday and this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like extremely strict. I'm not like that at all. I, I, you know, I'll come in on Sunday, review the tape with the coaches and everything. Kind of have one last day with the game before prior. Yeah. Wash it. Whatever happened, happened. Wash it. Learn from the mistakes, learn from, you know, what you did well. Yeah. And then, you know, grow from it, move on. Then Monday, come in, do a deep dive, you know, like a good two, three hours of just grinding out the tape, looking at, all right, what are they doing, giving us in two by two, three yeah. by one, all that kind of stuff. Top coverages to each, you know, mm-hmm. what fronts they're going to be in. Just kind of get a really good feel on Monday going into Tuesday. Uh, 
you know, usually go up to, you know, Coach Yersich, talk a little bit, just, mm-hmm. you know, shoot the shit and just kind of see what, what, what they're doing, yeah. you know, yeah. what, what, what we feel like they're doing that week, um, what we could get. You know, he's got his general ideas. Yeah. Then Tuesday, kind of hone it back in. I get the first initial game plan. Okay, now, okay, we're in two by two here. I'm thinking they're going to give me, you know, cover two, cover four, yeah. cover three, whatever, whatever they're doing. Yeah. And then kind of apply that knowledge and be like, all right. So that way in Tuesday practice, I'm already thinking the way I would in a game. Like, okay, gotcha. now we're moving into Wednesday. We're getting in a third yeah. down that day. Okay, what's their top third down pressure? Yeah, right, how are we sliding film. it? Yeah. What are we going to do? What's their tells? Yeah. You know, what's their, you know, is it, is, it a, is it a one technique and a five that yeah. tells field pressure or whatever it may be? Um, and so that way by Friday, you know, I never want to end the week where I'm like unsure. Yeah. If, if Friday hits, which rarely, I mean, I've never really happened. Yeah. But Friday hits and I, if I felt like kind of. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. Then that's <laughs> not good. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, yeah. when Friday hits, you know, when I, when, I, when I take off on the plane or we go to the hotel, the Penn State are here. I feel good. I'm like, all right, yeah. it's time to dominate. Because yeah. we know, I, I, it, it feels like I know everything about them. You know, yeah. because you've been studying them all week, you know, yeah. honing in on all that information. So you just, yeah. you know the players like the back of your hands. So. Yeah, no, I always think that's like an interesting process to, to yeah, hear about. it is. From the quarterback perspective, too. It's a like when I was playing tight end, dude, it was just like, I just kind of I just showed up. Who, I, don't know, who, who I didn't watch much film, dude. <laughs> yeah. This, this yeah, I'm week. just like trying to find the zone. Who's the beast defense <laughs> yeah. end that I got to crack on? Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of film watching in my days. but but uh Dude, the one other thing, what is, uh, what's like the dating life like as a Penn State starting quarterback? I mean, you got a girlfriend, so. No, none. But like. Tied how, down how, for how three ago, years now. Is it three years? Three and a, three I didn't know it was that long. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. So what's that, what's that been like? I mean, that's my girl. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, there's not much really to say. Uh, we did, I just want to throw a little plug yeah, in Ju- there, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't know, her name's Juliana <laughs> Alice Androni. Shout out, Jewel. Hey. I love it. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, she, we've been dating. We met. Freshman, no, it was, I, well, I kind of knew of her freshman year. Yeah. And then started dating my second year. You sent her DMs? I actually did. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I did slide in her DMs, which is embarrassing. But you just it, was, it was you me who hey, made the yeah. first move, 100%. I love it. And then, you know, took off from there. And now she's, she keeps putting up with my shit, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> is, she, is she up with the business at all? Is no, she, no, she, she, she separate, she's separating church and state separate. from there. She <laughs> says, you do that, you do you, and so I'll just go ahead. And and state. I'm just going to go ahead it. and do my own thing. I love it. Yeah, she's, she's great, though. Dude, another yeah. really cool thing is your brother being on the same team as you. Yeah. That's such a – you think – can we fit him in the, in the shot right now? You want to come join us? You want to take the mic for a second? Say what's up? I, I think if you keep it on, it should pick up. It'll pick him up. I was going to say. Cause well, it's it'll, it'll pick Boom. him up, right? Yeah, he's good. You can keep it on. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, I, that's, that's just something like I wish being able to. Yeah, you guys got a little too close there. No, <laughs> that's that's guy, that's I just think it's such a unique thing. Like, if I could have played with my brother in college, I would have been so sweet. Yeah. We, we just weren't close up in age. Like, was that a big part of you deciding to come back? Like, just getting to play with him another, you know, yeah, first season. Hundred percent. I mean, for me, it was it was an easier decision because of Liam. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a, it was a tough decision in general, mm-hmm. but even easier with Liam here. Yeah, um, he made the the decision. Yeah, very seamless. Um, and there's just so many benefits to coming back, yeah. especially with him. So yeah, it was easy. What, what's it like being at Penn State as like Sean Clifford's little brother? That's got to be so yeah. a little bit of a flex when you walk in on day one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely get it, get it a lot. Like, oh, sure, Sean's brother, Sean's brother, yeah. all this and that, but. Um, Obviously, I'm gonna make, try to make a name for myself. I feel like I've done a good job of yeah, it so yeah, far. Yeah. Been, yeah. Uh, you know, just just grinding away. You know how it is. But no, it's cool. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for anything else to be able to play with him. Yeah. It, and honestly, when I was making my college decision, I kind of always wanted to go somewhere different. But then once they offered me, and after visiting a couple of times and being up here with him and seeing what it would be like, yeah, I couldn't turn it down. It was. It's a once in a lifetime time opportunity. And we've, That's interesting. You, you, you thought at first you were like, I'm going to do my own yeah. thing. And, and then you really were like, did. eh. And then, <laughs> yeah, about it. it all changed. And obviously, yeah. we've got a lot going on right now. So it's been no, cool. So, what, what's your role in the business? So, I'm a, the, my technical uh, role is in, director of internal development. Yeah. So, I've been doing a ton with the launch. Um, but I mean, basically, his right hand man. We've been yeah. working on it together. Yeah. And it, it, it really is like, it's like, you know, 
from a PR perspective, see, you know, I'm, I'm the CEO. Yeah. But Liam and I are pretty much like running this thing yeah, together, um, which is even cooler. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna really dive into that uh, throughout the long, like as we go yeah. and show his side because he's doing you know just as much as me. Yeah. Um, and it's crazy because for for him, I mean, I'm not gonna put words in his mouth, but at the same time, like, I mean, he's only a I mean, you're 19, right? Yeah, you're younger. That's, that's <laughs> like, he's got a chance yeah. to really do something crazy yeah. as a as yeah. a 19 year old. Um, so it's been cool, yeah. um, and you know, bright guy. Yeah, you know, we both Appreciate work well together. Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah, smarter? Oh. <laughs> smarter. We've always both gotten pretty good grades. Smarter. Like school smart. School smart might be you. Yeah, probably like if me. You, if, if we take yeah. an ACT test right now. I'd yeah, probably smarter. get a better you, ACT. You but I've always, but then, I've always been. You know, street smart. I mean, I think we both. Yeah, we're yeah. both, both savvy smart. enough. Is, is there like extra chemistry on the field as a receiver and quarterback when I it's your brother? Feel, yeah. I feel like so. Yeah. I feel it. Like yesterday. You ever get on him? You're like, dude, give me a good ball, man. Come on. We, we he doesn't. He, he doesn't come at me <laughs> like that. No. Not too much. We're, we're always pushing each other, but I mean, no, we had a we had a nice little dig yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday we had a a dig. I threw it like two windows before. You, you know what Some I'm talking timing. about? Yeah. He was coming yeah. at like 16 yards, and I threw yeah. it two windows before, and this man went screaming across really? the field caught it almost scored um but it was a big explosive but yeah no it's it's cool to we definitely there is something yeah. there it, it, yeah. I, tr I truly feel like whenever i see you know a brother duo or something like that yeah. there's, there's just there's an extra level chemistry. of connection yeah, there's just yeah. a little extra chemistry. how excited was your family when when you decided to you want to talk about dad <laughs> and, yeah, and just mean, like i mean they, mom too obviously they were, but, they were both just so excited like yeah obviously I think they started to feel it, like coming that I would probably come here once you know I got offered in uh, my going into my junior year of summer I came to camp here and they offered yeah. me and then middle of my junior year football season I came it was actually the the whiteout game I committed here that was a Michigan game actually the one you started talking about earlier yeah because oh really so he was, I was <laughs> you weren't gonna commit if you lost yeah, I, I was like kind of I, I was like I told my parents you I was like, I want, that <laughs> I wanted he was like he was like he was like it's well, fake. you can tell. You I, I wanted to commit that weekend, but I was oh. like, "What, like, mom and dad, like, what happens if they lose? Like, I don't want to." Oh, kinda, you can't. Yeah, kinda, yeah, like, yeah. that would be it such a like, weird. Yeah. And yeah. they ended up winning. He was talking about it was just one of the best games he's like he's yeah. been a part of. And I mean, I had our whole family was up, aunts, uncles, cousins, and we went into Franklin's office and. Yeah, that was one. Of my, I, I saw the picture. You were in the picture too. Yeah, right? yeah. KJ was office. in it. Too. Yeah, KJ was in it. KJ's like our glorified cousin or brother, whichever you want. But uh. He, uh, yeah, I mean, my parents were both just so happy, and even, like, they knew it was coming, and even once that, that moment actually was there, they both broke down. And even Coach Franklin, Coach Franklin which really? he broke down a little bit because he said. That's such a cool thing. It was, it was like, a cool moment. It was, it was something cool I'll never forget. Yeah, for, yeah, really cool. for sure. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. That's fire, man. <laughs> That's such a cool thing. Just uh, like, like I said, I just think about like if I had the chance to play with my brother, that would have been the. That's what so many people want to do, right? The world, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, because it's just so rare. And it's just. Yeah. I mean, for you to, to I mean, we both won state in high school. We both were like, yeah. you know, all American players, and then, just I mean, like, we talked about it. My dad, I mean, he goes to the games. He doesn't sit down. He walks the whole oh, place. Yes. <laughs> Anxiety. Like, you, that should be a that should be like a a game. If you find John Clifford. Walking around, would, like we you, need to get you win something because that man is moving. We need to get someone to follow him around the camera. That would be game. crazy <laughs> content. Yeah, that would be crazy him content. Him <laughs> Brad could do it. Yeah. Just follow him around. I love it. Yeah. I, I remember being at uh, when I was at Arizona State coaching. Uh, I remember watching his film because you were yeah. in high school then, and I remember our like receivers coach and people talking about him, and I was like. You, like we're not this we're wasting our time we're not going to get Liam Clifford to ASU <laughs> <laughs> he's going to Penn State, Arizona State. yeah ASU's cool. going to come in and steal you out that of would have been a crazy <laughs> steal <laughs> what a recruiting well, coach I don't know what you would have been yeah. able to say yeah no, well, Sean, I got a couple more questions for you. I don't want to kick you out of the pod, yeah, yeah, but you can. Really <laughs> Thanks for joining for a second. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I don't I'll make this look this like it's out not, of Liam the yeah, time. something crazy. Let's <laughs> give him the boot. It was like, we're moving on, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this guy out of here. I ask people sometimes because I think it shows who you are a little more than people know. What's the What's the first thirty minutes every morning? Every morning, like, what do you do every morning? It's like, I mean, it's it's get up and go. You just roll. Yeah, I'm rolling. You're not like looking at your phone. You're not. I'm oh, I mean, now I'm looking at my phone a little bit just because yeah. I got I got to pick up some calls. But I mean, 
I schedule my week out. Yeah. And honestly, lately it's been like two weeks out or three. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll, you know, I'll have calls with a couple businesses or, or whoever I'm dealing with. Um, and I, and like my days are just so busy like yeah. throughout the whole day. So I, I rarely can fit somebody in yeah. like for a, a quick well, I 30 minute hour. Awesome, this, man. this I could fit in for sure. This is worth it. Um, <laughs> But it's hard. It's hard to, to fit stuff in nowadays. At least during the day, yeah. you know, business hours, um, especially then too with with football because yeah. you know that's taking up. You have practice, time, yeah, practice, and you know I'm getting there at yeah. at what one o'clock, and I'm and I, and when I'm that's the thing. You know, when I get to the facility, whether it be noon, one mm -hmm. o'clock, whatever it is, it's like it's work. Like yeah. I'm working. Yeah. Because I know that you know if I'm going to put time allocated to my business. Then when, I, when it's there. football, it's yeah. football, and there's nothing yeah. else in the, in the in the world that matters. So yeah. that's been a big thing for me as well, just making sure that I'm doing yeah. my due diligence of making sure that when I'm in the building, it's all about the team and growing and everything. Yeah. Um, and and it's been it's been great so far. Yeah. So yeah, no, but my first 30 minutes usually it's usually a cup of coffee. And we're going. I was going to ask, you're a caffeine guy? I'm a coffee yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, me yeah too. I'm a big yeah. coffee guy. I like iced coffee. I had too. one right before we were. My girlfriend left, put yeah. me on to uh, the. Uh, the dunk, oh, I don't even know if I, maybe Duncan. Yeah, hey, <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe we got a partnership here. Oh, I'm there deal. every morning. I'm Dude, just I, just, all right, I just thought of something I wanted to ask you before I get to all the, to the personal questions, but what do you want to do after football's over? Like what, what's the, what, well, first of all, yeah. NFL, obviously, yeah, like obviously, you're going to play, yeah, right. play a long time in the league. Um, what, like what you have, you have limitless. You have like, you got a coach, you do media, like what? What's There's all? There's just your... so much. Yeah, I just love so. I, I mean, I just have so many passions in <laughs> yeah. this life. It's 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 crazy because you know I always thought, you know, I wanted to you know make it in the league and then you, you know, yeah. play and then you're making all this money and doing all this stuff, but I'm starting to realize that time is so much more valuable than money. Mm -hmm. Like the experiences and yeah, it, it do just, what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. And, and living life the way you want because we yeah. only have a finite amount of time. Yeah, like there's endless. I mean, you keep printing money all yeah. day long, but like time and, and the pe like being with the people that you love and doing yeah. the things that you enjoy. That's what really matters. Um, and I'm really starting to realize this now. Mm -hmm. um, I did early. I'm I you know I have no regrets at Penn State. You know that's one of the things that I I took to heart when when guys like you or, and you know I remember. Um, Andrew Nelson, do you remember yeah, that? Name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great dude. Big Nelly. Yeah, he uh, he came in and he was talking to the team. It was the freshman, and one of the things he said off the rip was just don't have any regrets. And yeah. and everybody, you know, I always heard it coming back. Yeah. Everyone said like, oh, I, I regret I didn't do this. I didn't. Yeah. I have no regrets. I truly don't because yeah. I went all in from the jump on everything that I yeah. did. Um, and that would be like my advice to, to young players is, yeah. is do, especially with, you know, NIL and everyone's allowing everybody to be creative now, just do what you want to do, man. Yeah. Cause it's, it's too short of a life just to, to live by the social norms. Yeah. You know, if you want to do something, you know, in, in theater, go do something in theater. If you want to do yeah. something in band, do something in band. If you want to do sports, do sports. If you want to start a what, business, start a business. If you want to start a business, <laughs> yeah. then start a business yeah. or join up with Limitless NIL. Or just join it. <laughs> yeah. 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 But no, uh, it's it, 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 yeah, a hundred percent. I don't even remember what the question was. I was yeah, just me neither. We're just <laughs> chatting at this point. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I had to throw it in there because I knew I wanted to ask you that because I feel like it's such an like, you could do so many different things. You yeah. Know, like. No, and it, I mean in the future, I don't even know. I, I doing the startup. I do. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I didn't this even is, know about venture capital yeah. before VC. I think that's a cool avenue to go. Yeah. I mean, you have to have money for it, but yeah. I, I, the startup business, like yeah. getting involved, so many Penn State the, connections, the business too. plans, and yeah. all that. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And I, I'm not even a business major, but I'm just really enjoy. I wish I did now. Um, yeah. But I mean, you could learn anything off of YouTube now. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. not yeah. count myself out of anything. Um, I know. I think we got people waiting to play games. So I'm a couple more, right? They, they, they're trying to get. get on <laughs> they're trying table. to get us out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got security, Liam, over there. Yeah, and now we got Brad. <laughs> yeah, Brad Brad's, <laughs> Brad's not messing around. Um, what is? Uh, what's the best piece of advice anyone's ever told you? Probably just the, 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 the regrets. Don't have regrets. Yeah. yeah, the no regrets and do what you want to do because yeah. that, that that's kind of been my mo for a while, and you know. It, it was tough early, you know, when you're younger, you know, you want to fit in, you want to do this. Yeah. You know. But truly, I mean, there's just so much you can do in life. Yeah. So there's no reason not to, 
not to enjoy it. So that 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 would probably be the biggest yeah. one. Yeah. No, that's a, it's a good one. It's a good one because you know you just can't. It's, it's cliche. You can't be looking back. But and it's like, really it's it's cliche. But then. No one ever does it. Yeah, that's like, no, true. You know what I'm like, everyone says it never does like, it. Like, cliche things <laughs> yeah. are usually things that people are always yeah. doing. But, like, yeah. Pe- I mean, more people need to do that, for yeah. sure. But, I mean, this generation is, I'm, I'm happy with this new generation of just, like, going out. I mean, I'm seeing everything and everything going, yeah. coming out nowadays. So, it's cool. Yeah. No, that's dope. Yeah. What, what is, uh, you know, I think I've noticed, like, through some of the people I've talked to, too, like, anyone who reaches a high level of, of success like you've reached, like, there's some kind of external motivation. Like, it's not, you know, what's your why? Like, what's the reason that yeah. you that you wake up and grind every day? Like, there's got to be some, like, yeah. I mean, motivating factor that, like, you just, that you do what you do. Yeah, that's a that's a question that we ask in the facility. You oh, know, really? We have our core yeah. values, right? Positive attitude, great, great work ethic. Like, Compete everything you do, do muscle and sacrifice. You still do the quote, quote in on the wall? Your mind. You yes. still have to read the quote? Big quote yeah. on your wall, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the quote, the quote, quote by, the and yeah. then whoever. You still yeah. do ultimate teammate? Yeah, of course. Okay, Every, yeah. <laughs> all that is still the same, yeah. 100%. Um, but yeah, well, that's one of the questions that'll come up is, is what's your why? Yeah. And I mean, first and foremost, it, it, I mean, it's, it goes back to my family. And, and really, like, it's, it's Liam as well. Because yeah. I've always, when I was, like, being the older brother, I always wanted to set the example. Like, I, yeah. I never wanted to be the guy that, you know, he couldn't be proud of. So, like, that was, that is my why, like, yeah. number one. Now, Liam obviously is taking care of himself. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's a his own dude now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, Alpha like, dog that, when I was, when I was younger, like, you know, senior in high school, yeah. I was trying to set the, set the example for, for us, you know, yeah. and, and moving forward. And then he took it and ran with it in his own way. Now he's doing, you know, what he does. But, so that was, like, number one. And then just, like, I guess number two is just the, pa- like, passion for the game. Yeah. I truly love football. Yeah. Um, been in it for a long time now and you know it's changed it's changed since the minute i started you know playing flag yeah. and what first grade or whatever it was yeah. to now you know there's a lot more x's and o's and there's a lot more you know yeah. business involved and, and all this I stuff am. but <laughs> yeah no but it definitely like for the root of the game itself like when i go out there and play every day like i just have a blast yeah. like yeah. it's just like nowhere i'd rather be in the world yeah. so those two, you know, family, you know, the people that I love, you know, my, my, my parents, my brother, you know, my close family, yeah. and then, like, my girl, um, and then, and then I would say yeah. just dope. the love of the game. Yeah, like those, that's sweet. Those two are my why. That's sweet. Well, I'm excited to, I'm excited to see you guys, a little, little action tomorrow at practice. Yeah. I'm yeah, going we'll, to come by. We got to get one. I'm going to be tomorrow. chirping you two on the sideline. We gonna, haven't, I don't think we've gotten a tug this, this spring. I think yet. I think it may happen tomorrow. Tomorrow night's practice. Tomorrow night yeah. is I'm the, gonna get is it the on night. Video. <laughs> we got to get it on video. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to you wanna hit on or, or plug? Or, I mean, you know, any, any brands we got to plug? <laughs> I already plugged your, your Kick the Sheets movement. Don't worry. We plugged it's plugged everything we have to. I, I think everything's but, plugged. But uh, we're going to have to do, uh, I'll come back during the season. We'll have yeah. to do a little we'll bi-week we'll interview. Yeah, something up for sure. You might have to come on the on the spot. Yeah, I I love to come that on. That would be yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that would be great. That would be, huh? When are you leaving? Uh, tomorrow night at some point. <laughs> see, see, that's what my that's my businessman right there. He's trying to he's trying to make. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, I love to, but no man, I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, I know we, sure. this has been a while. I know everyone in the world wants you on their podcast. So. <laughs> no, Seriously, I mean, wait, after the news broke, you've been on everything. Yeah, you know, it's been like, cool. Paul it's been, Feinbaum, you it's, know, been crazy, it's been a crazy. It's been a crazy week. Sports Center had. I got the ESPN alert on my phone. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I know. I did too. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Sweet, man. But yeah, no, it's been. I appreciate, bro. I appreciate it. Shout out Limitless NIL. Shout out Limitless NIL podcast. Go there. It's on Spotify, YouTube. You name it. We got it. Go check it out. My prior experience, I worked at uh, Cuts Clothing. I'm living here in all cuts. Can I give it? Wait. Uh, yeah, can I, I can try to up. Yeah. Wait, I hooked, wait, uh, yeah, wait, I hooked up. We have, to talk. We, we have to talk, actually. Did you guys make your shirt smaller? Um, As of like two years ago? I mean, I just started working with them in August, okay, so, so I don't really I know. I talked to someone in drugs, and they don't fit me anymore. Oh, uh, really? Oh, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're like, they were like bigger before, and then yeah. like for something changed, and the double XL is like, are like super tight on me. Uh, I'm also, I'm, I can I'm probably lose a few that. pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a triple XL now. No, dude. Only in class. That's what I was That's what I was That's what I through my experience with that, um, Sean, you know, started, you know, following me and stuff and then brought this opportunity and, you know, it's been like a dream of mine to, you know, eventually I wanted to, you know, my five-year plan. Yeah, yeah, I can show you that, but like, you know, my five-year plan was, 
So, you know, work for Cuts for a couple years, network within the sports industry, and then start my own marketing agency. Five years earlier, Sean yeah. comes to me, texts me, I'm like, holy fuck, I guess I'm doing shit right. <laughs> I say quarterback Sean Clifford's reaching out to me. And then, um, you know, ever since then. You just reach out. That's like, he literally yeah, just reached out. I just hit him up. I, just, I got his number, and it was just like, hey, like, I just have something for you. And he thought he thought I was just doing something like I thought bullshit, it was, No, 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 no. I thought it was, was going to help market the Clifford Bros training app. Oh, yeah. oh. In my head, I'm like, all right, they're going to want me to like, And I laid something. out the concept to him, and, he, and literally, he goes, he's sitting there, and he's like, dude, this is the best idea. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then, um, oh. yeah, as he probably told you, I started kicking the sheets. That's where, you know, rooted from. <laughs> Because then I was getting up at 5 a.m. I was working out from like 5:30, 7:30. Yeah. You know, get my breakfast. I would come here. We do fucking yoga in the in the yeah. room over here at 8:15. And then we go back and just kind of just like shoot the shit, brainstorm some like yeah. ideas for the agency. Yeah. And then you know, I, I'm big. You know, I put like everything that I'm doing like out on social media. Yeah. This though, I was keeping on the back burner. Yeah. And like, oh you. my god, <laughs> <laughs> I want to like, put it out. out. You really want to out. Shopping at the we bit. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah, and then you know, finally came out, and you know, now we're like rocking and rolling. It's you know, crazy to see. You know, from January to now. And the buzz and everything, it's like we're in it. Like it is on. So you guys are waiting for Monday the whole time, right? For one minute. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, we're I, like, I, I feel like I like, kept that. Yo, when, yeah. when's the launch? When's yeah. the launch? When's like, the launch? I, I, I kind of wanted to like, to like jump in and break it before Pete Thamel Arkle came out after you DM'd me. Sources are telling me. Yeah, sources say that. My sources shot Clifford. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. But. Now we're here. And now we're now we're rolling. Yeah. And now it's Thursday night, and I'm gonna go I love it. put down all the brands and their content. Right now, no, it's like a spark. <laughs> no, it's a sparkling water. <laughs> so we're like, we're yeah, 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 sparkling water. From a little ad. Show off the yeah. brand, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. sponsorship. I don't know, whatever brand. <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, Ro yeah, Roots Natural Kitchen. Here we go. The, the pitch you just gave, we may need to make a little video of it for you guys to use. Yeah, of like, yeah. just waiting oh, on the brand to launch. It was good. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. My <laughs> own. Appreciate, Appreciate, you doing, Appreciate you guys tuning into that episode of Brennan Shows Up with Penn State quarterback Sean Clifford. Got to talk to Sean at his apartment here in State College about a lot of things that you probably haven't heard him talk about before. His new business, what he's looking forward to this coming season, his life on and off the field. It was a really cool conversation. Appreciate Sean for doing it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe on YouTube. We got a lot of cool stuff coming your way.